and welcome to a brand new video. I'm Clary and I got a lot of questions of how I did my Chinese uh, traditional hairstyle since I have like super short hair. So today I'm actually going to teach you how I did it and reply to some of your questions. So let's get started. How are you all doing? I hope you're doing amazing and before we get started don't forget to like the video and subscribe if you haven't already and join the Koala family. Before we start I also want to apologize guys I know I haven't uploaded a brand new video for a while now but the reason why that is happening is because first of all I just don't know what to upload here on YouTube lately but I have had some brand new ideas and I'm also going on vacation very very soon so I'll be uploading some vlogs and fun things that's what I actually like to do is vlogging and showing my daily life with you guys and I just have been trying to stream more on Twitch as well so if you guys just want to know more about my life please make sure to go subscribe and follow me on Twitch so you can see what I do daily and besides that I also created a Patreon so I have been uploading a lot of videos there pretty much like once a week or even more than once a week lately so I'll leave all my links in the description down below alright guys so let's get started first of all I just took a shower so my hair is still wet <laughs> and my hair also grew a little bit since I did that hairstyle but pretty much what happened was I love dressing up with Chinese traditional clothing I just love the beautiful clothing and the entire culture and I am not Chinese and I love to visit China sometimes so I have done a couple of videos trying Chinese clothing and all and on my last video I tried to do my own hairstyle and I had short hair now it's a little bit longer than it used to be and I actually got these comments on my video asking me Kari could you make a video explaining how you did that hairstyle and I was like you know what why not <laughs> I am not a professional and I pretty much just made up my own hairstyle. I didn't look it up for anything. So yeah, so let's get started. And while I do my hairstyle, I will be replying to some of your questions on Instagram. So I'm gonna start with parting my hair in the middle. You can use the help of something like that. Why am I teaching you how to part your hair? I'm pretty sure you know how to do that. And the first question is, what is the thing you love the most about yourself? Uh... <laughs> That's a good question, but I would say like physically, I really like my smile. I just love smiling. So what I did was I parted some hair here in the middle and this hair is pretty much going to be loose in the middle like that. And then we're going to do some braids over here. Mentally, I think my favorite thing about myself is that I feel like I can read people's minds a lot. Not, not minds, but intentions. Like, I don't know, I am really good at reading like I don't understand other people it's kind of weird but because I've always been so shy my entire life I developed this thing which is being very observant so I I don't talk much but I look at people a lot so I learned a lot about body language and stuff like that I, I really like that I'm able to do that <laughs> hair tie here so it's easier I look like a unicorn <laughs> So this person is asking if my house would be to be on a fire what would be one thing or the first thing I would take out of it and of course it would be my hamster what you're gonna do is grab a little piece of hair from here from the top and then you're gonna separate it in two okay and we're gonna make two different braids so I'm gonna start from this top part here but besides my hamster if my hamster wouldn't really count or something uh, the next thing I would take would be like my computer or something <laughs> because I think it's the most expensive thing I own um, or my IRL stream phone or something I'm not sure I usually use the super tiny tiny little ones I like to use these little ones because it's easier and you can't really see them much so it is perfect for hairstyles like this and then we're gonna do the same on the other and do another braid this is like the most simple and easy hairstyle in the entire world I would love to know and learn more hairstyles so if there is any Chinese people 
uh, watching this, please teach me. <laughs> I would love to learn. Do you have any advice on how to do something when you really don't want to, such as streaming? Like having a friend that knows that sometimes you feel lazy and tells you to not be lazy because that's what usually happens. Like I wake up and I'm like, oh my God, I don't want to stream today. And then I message my best friend saying that I don't want to stream and he goes like, do it, Kari, do it. So having that another person encouragement is very, very good and it's really nice. But if you don't have the possibility to have someone doing that to you, I think using a calendar is like one of the best things and I love doing that. So what I usually do is I plan my week in advance. So every Sunday I write in my calendar everything I have to do during the week, okay? And I kind of have like a little mental OCD. <laughs> I can't see something in my calendar and not be done by the end of the week. I don't know why, but just try it, okay? Try to have a calendar and write everything you have to do in every single day. And you will see it's so much easier because you wake up, look at your calendar, you're like, okay, today I have to do this, 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 and this. And it will be so much easier, trust me. Try to do that and see if you get more motivation to do things. Someone asked me, what's my real name? My real name is Carolina, guys. I have said this so many times here on YouTube. And people ask me, so where does Kari come from? Well, I was actually <laughs> looking for a nickname for myself because if you think about it, Carolina, the most common nickname for it would be Carol or Carol. I don't know how to pronounce it in English, but in Portuguese it would be Carol or something like that. But I didn't want that. I don't want to be basic. So I went online and I literally searched nicknames <laughs> and I tried to find the one that was most similar to mine, which would be Kari, Carolina, Kari. Uh, but then instead of a C, I added a K because I thought it looked cooler. So that's where Kari comes from. Also, I'm just doing the exactly same thing on the other side. Just making two braids on the other side. Next question is, what do you do when you lose motivation to do the things that you like? So that's the same question as before. Uh, sometimes I do lose motivation which is normal to happen. I think everyone loses motivation and they have to find motivation again. Um, I don't really know what I do. I don't think I do anything specific besides the things that I've said before. But for example, if sometimes I'm not motivated to do streaming, sometimes I just go on Twitch and watch other streamers. And for some reason, my motivation will be back. Like if you watch someone do the thing that you lost motivation on, usually you will end up gaining it back. Like with drawing, for example, if you like drawing and you're just not motivated, to do any art at the moment if you just go on YouTube and start looking at other people doing it you will kind of start getting it back I don't know if that makes any sense but that's what usually I do <laughs> all right so now we can remove this here I'm good now this is pretty much it it's so simple okay so we're gonna grab the braid and we're just gonna do this bam like that like this and you're gonna roll it like that Ta -da! and then we're just gonna bobby pin it or if you want to do it easier like this okay like that and you bobby pin this part right like this and if you want to make it stay in place longer i'm gonna put a bobby pin here on top There isn't really much to explain, <laughs> it's just as simple, it's pretty much doing like a mini <laughs> ear. So we're gonna do the same on the other side. Someone asked me cereals before or after milk. I feel like I get this question every single time I do a QA. and a It's the most current question I always get, it's so funny. I just put milk first, okay? I am one of those. I put milk first, I love milk, I actually like milk more than cereals, so I usually put more milk than cereals. So to me, it makes sense to put the milk first. Another person asked me, what is my favorite part about streaming? And I would say my favorite thing about streaming is being able to meet so many people from different parts of the world. It's absolutely so much fun being able to meet so many people. And I will also improve my like 
my knowledge i guess in culture i just love learning more about other people's cultures and it just makes me so happy when i get people in chat wanting to talk about themselves and their lives that makes me happy when people are there sitting and interested in the things i like and the things that i do that makes me so happy and just makes me feel like people appreciate what i do and i just love that as well so instead of doing like just one big loop let's try to do it too if your hair is long enough for that if it isn't you can just do the exact same thing but higher like that for example see and you get two little hoops but i'm gonna do two hoops like this and then we bobby pin it <laughs> so i'm gonna do one loop first like that Ta -da! And then another one. Like that. Ta -da! You have three loops. <laughs> and then we're gonna do the exact same thing on the other side. Someone asked, would you rather have a baby or a monkey? <laughs> I think I would rather have a baby. I'd love monkeys to be honest. What about you guys? Would you rather have a baby or a monkey? First time someone asked me that, so it's an original question. <laughs> Alright, so we bobby pin this and now we do the tiny little one. Alright, so this is pretty much it, and I like to leave those two pieces of hair that we picked up at the beginning in the front and then put the rest of my hair on the back, like that, like this, and I think it just makes you look so much nicer. So all of this part of the hair will be in the back. So this is pretty much how I did the hairstyle. Now for the final touch, all you have to do is add your accessories, so I'm gonna go get them. But yeah guys, talking about babies, do you guys want to have a baby? Sometimes I think about that. I do want to have a baby. I don't know. I, I really want to. Look, I can't imagine myself having one. And the thing is that I am 22 years old now, right? At the age of 27, I would like to already have one. And the thing is that it's in five years. <laughs> At least that's how I've always thought as a kid. Like, oh my god, at the age of 27, I want to have my kids because it's just like how it happened with my parents. And that is like in five years. It is like in really little time. I am a little bit scared. Am I going to show my mom life on YouTube? Would you guys like to watch that if I ever become a mom? Well, first I need to find the person. <laughs> But I'm thinking if I do, right? It's so exciting and to think about that because of the question the person asked. So yeah guys, so I have this little accessories. I have this cute flowers. Ta-da, they're so cute. And then I have this ones as well. So I'm just gonna add them and try to cover the bobby pins or the little imperfections that you left in your hair. Sure, you can be creative and do whatever you like. Like this, I guess. Ta -da! And then these ones, I actually like to usually put them in the back. Like this. Can you see it? <laughs> yeah, this is how it looks. This is how I did my Chinese hairstyle for that video. And hopefully, you guys enjoyed and this was helpful in some way. And I absolutely love it. I just love this type of hairstyle. It is so cute and easy to make. Super, super easy. But yeah, guys, that was pretty much it for today. Let me know in the comments down below what you think. If this was helpful, if you're going to use this hairstyle. And if you do, please take a picture of it and send it to me on social media. I would absolutely love to see it. <laughs> Alright, guys, thank you so much for watching. Don't forget to like the video and subscribe if you haven't already. And join the Wild family. I'll see you all on the next video because this one is over. Bye-bye. Bye. -bye. <laughs> Bye.